Got another British hit on this fancy playlist. This fancy playlist of July 15, 2007 is starting to look more like a British hit parade. <laughs> I got this particular record from BBC's Radio One's Countdown, their singles charts, and it's Ash. I've forgotten about this record. This is just sheer Brit pop. Harder side of Brit pop, the rocking side of Brit pop. You can't have it all by Ash at number 38, up seven from 45. An Irish band, when you think of this song, think of Blur, Oasis, Kaiser Chiefs, the harder side, the rocking side of Weezer. They toured with Weezer too at one time. Ash, you can't have it all at number 38. Irish band from Down Patrick place called Down Patrick, which is south of Belfast. They formed in 1992. They put out an EP or half an album, and they came out with a full-length album called 1977. I thought the album came out in 1994, but I got 1996 down on my notes. Their first album was critically acclaimed. The prestigious British publication, music publication, NME, pronounced this album, 1977, as one of the 500 greatest albums of all time. Boy, that's a five-star review right there. I mean, my goodness. By the time, or before they got to their second album, they were a three-piece band starting out. They felt the limitations they felt constrained by being a three-piece band. They felt it particularly when they toured with Weezer. And they got together and they said to themselves, let's add another person. They brought in a woman named Charlotte Heatherly as a guitarist, a vocalist. She was in a band, an indie band called Night Nurse. They had a British indie hit called Skirt. This was back in the 90s. She joined the band. She was with the band for about nine years. About three albums until the group decided to become a three-piece again. She left the band in 2006, 2007. Once again, a three-piece band. Ash released an album called Twilight of the Innocents, recorded in New York City. Now, I got two stories on this, and I'm kind of confused. One story has it they leased, they leased a studio in New York City for about three years, but... I read another account where they actually owned a studio in New York City. So, in the bottom line, it was recorded in the Big Apple. Recorded right here in the States. Put a whole bunch of tracks and demos on this album, too. Loads of B-sides and, and uh, just odds and ends and some really powerful cuts, including You Can't Have It All. The download, the digital download version, was released April the 9th, 2007. And then the CD, the final version, came out a week after that. Went to number 16 in England. No impact here in the States. Maybe on alternative radio stations, but that's it. And this is on their this is on the British singles charts. This is on their pop singles charts. You can't have it all. The blaring guitar symphony of Ash. At number 38 on my fantasy playlist, July 15, 2007.